Well, welcome to the next tutorial and uh, we're going to have a look at uh, downloads and how to find them. I'll show you a good simple system for doing that. This is all for beginners, don't forget. Um, but maybe people who are not beginners might find it interesting as well. Well, you know the structure of the disk now, the way that the disk is filed. Remember that we've got down the sides here, desktop, what's your name is or the name of your computer which is there. In this case it's called Heather. Applications, um, documents, movies, music, pictures. Now that's the sort of standard way it's set up. Uh, and Apple will uh, try and put things that you save. For instance if you save from iMovie it'll try and put them in iMovies as a first suggestion. Music's the same for GarageBand, documents, applications, a whole lot. Okay, so it kind of tries to think for you. It doesn't mean you can't change it, but that's the first place it looks. But downloads are a different matter because it has a tendency to put the downloads on the desktop, and that clutters the desktop, and after a while you can't find things. So I have a simple solution for this, and that is close this up, open a new folder, and as I say, you get a new folder, you get a new in the finder, whoops, um, new folder. And bang, our new folder exists. Now I'm going to call this one desktop, uh, sorry, downloads. And uh, you just type it because it's already highlighted. If, if it isn't highlighted, then highlight it by clicking on the writing once and then again. So twice. If you double click it, it'll open. So it's a trick for beginners. Drag that up somewhere where you can find it easily. I like to keep it by the top of the, the bar. Now. It's just an empty folder at the moment, but what we're going to do is set Safari, which is a great browser. We're going to open Safari up, and uh, what we're going to do is configure Safari in the Preferences. Go to Safari, Preferences. At the moment mine actually says a Downloads folder, but um, yours won't. Yours will say Desktop. So click on this button here and come down to other and then look for your click on desktop and you'll see the downloads folder click on that once select it and now it'll say that uh, it will download everything to that and I'll show you how that works let's get rid of the general get rid of that the preferences we'll go to Apple downloads there's the page for the downloads. Sorry, I have to put this in a small box, otherwise the file becomes very large. And I'm going to download this Creatures icon. I'm going to click this. And up comes the box, which is the Downloads menu. If you can't see it, you can get that same menu from uh, Window Downloads that shows it to you. So there it is downloading. The amount of time it takes is there. I've got a very fast connection so yours might not be quite that fast. Uh, and it shows there's a folder. Now you can double click on that to find out. It'll open up the folder that you've just got. But if you look at the pathway to see where it is, so let's get rid of all of this. If you look in the downloads folder you'll find there it is. So it's a great way of keeping all of your downloads in one spot and quite often you have quite a few downloads. So ooh, I don't know what this is so I'm going to stop and have a look at it. 